G'day trendsetters, I'm John with Gravel Cyclist and I'm coming to you today with a product feature of sorts, not the T-Lad X 3.22. You should definitely do yourself a favour and check a review out of this bike, linked in the description below. Inside this nondescript looking white box is the latest rack from the good folks at Old Man Mountain of Bend, Oregon. This is the Elkhorn rack. It was released not too long ago and is designed to apparently work with just about any bike you can think of. More of that in a moment. Now, if you desire to see the inner operations of Old Man Mountain and their sister company, the Robert Axel Project, you'd be doing yourself a favor by checking out the Inside Factory Tour of those operations, again linked in the description below. Popping open the lid here, the folks at Old Man Mountain inform me this is a slender multi-tool of a rack. That's interesting, isn't it? So, put the box down there momentarily. Let's get this out of the package so you can check it out. Let's carefully remove the contents from the bag without smashing the place up here. Well, there's a lot of parts here, isn't there? Okay, let's try and cover them all real quick. So, you've got one upright, and you've got two uprights, and there's a bunch of washers and bolts and so on, right there inside the package. This looks like the cross member pieces. The rack deck. A couple more mounting pieces. Also included with this rack is a ton of hardware. Now, I don't know if this is included with every rack, but in this example, we've got C2589. They've all got various descriptions. And that leads me to tell you, I'm going to read the fucking manual, which is on the Old Man Mount website. Here we are, how to install an Elkhorn. Yes, I will be reading those directions here for sure. Basically, this rack is designed to work on the front or rear end of your bike, and the uprights, you can mount bottle cages or your favorite cargo cage too. So if you happen to have a fork like on this T-Lab X 3.22, you might lose those spots ordinarily if you mounted a rack of this nature, but thankfully, the mounting points on the rack save the day and there's also plenty of lash down points on the tray and so on to securely fasten your load whatever that may be additional features of the elkhorn rack include carrying capacity of 25 pounds or 11.4 kilograms if you're of the metric persuasion there are two sizes available the short which fits 650b slash 27.5 up to 2.8 inch wide tires or 700c by 50 millimeter the other variant the tall fits 29er by 3.25 inches with provision for mud clearance that's a lot of clearance and speaking of clearance you also get clearance for fenders so that's handy if you like commuting in sludge conditions and so on and the rack itself is constructed from 6061 aluminum or aluminium, as I like to say, with half inch diameter tubing. And the deck itself measures 3.9 inches wide by 10.5 inches long, or 100 millimeters by 266 millimeters. You know what's next? Let's throw the old man mountain elkhorn rack onto the gram scale. Let's throw just the rack components onto the gram scale. Hardware will be additional. This is just a baseline. Stay, please. Yeah, almost there. All right, you're looking at 723 grams of additional weight with this rack without the hardware. Just for giggles, let's throw on every piece of hardware they've included. So this will be the absolute worst case scenario. Yeah, 
Okay, so absolute worst case scenario, 813 grams. Now here it is, the Elkhorn rack installed. It was quite a simple installation. It's not the most perfect installation because you really should bend the support mounts. I haven't done too much bending really, like right here at this mounting point, for example, on the frame, but it's pretty secure, etc. Now I did use, during the installation process, these hardware packs. Let's make sure it's in focus. I use number eight, number two, and C. Now I did need number three, which is for mounting this extender to your frame. So I had to improvise and utilize pack number nine, which had a bunch of M5 bolts included. So no worries at all, but really I should bend this a bit more, but it's working okay. And if you wanted to save some weight, you could also chop off this part of the extender here. Here's another look at the rack installed on the T-Lab X3.22 review bike. As you can see, I utilized this frame's eyelets. That made the installation a piece of cake. So right up there above the rear dropout and up here, nice and easy. As you can see, there is a ton of clearance. There's at least three inches of clearance between the, the rack and the top of this Panerace Gravel King tire, which measures 700C by 43 millimeters. So here it is, the old man mounts an Elkhorn rack mounted to the fork of a Ribble Cycles Gravel SL, which is a review bike being ridden by the Lady Gravel Cyclist. Ultra long-term review coming later. Nothing extraordinary about mounting this versus the rear of the bike. I showed you on the T-Lab X3.22 earlier. Same mounting procedure for the bottom part a different extender, much shorter obviously, to just latch it down there. And I flipped around the deck so there's clearance in front of the head tube. There's still a decent amount of tire clearance beneath the deck. This is a 700C by 43mm Panerasa Gravel King. There's about an inch there, so no worries at all. And here's a look from the back side plenty of room. Now this is a pretty handy little size for a certain item I think one could easily collect from the grocery store, gas station, petrol station or what have you. Oh look who's returning from the grocery store with beer on the bicycle. <laughs> That's awesome babe. Oh, nice. It's time for happy hour. Oh, perfect. And it's still cold. Nice. So there you have it, that's my product features video of sorts of the old man mountain rack, the Elkhorn model. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cycles YouTube channel for review content slash feature content such as this. No bullsh** arama, gravel bike reviews, other product reviews, ride experience videos, and general madness. <laughs> yeah, as all of it is released to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.